it's great how you transition that why me victim mentality to the why not me victor mindset right? So I can overcome. So as we talked about productivity and just all that preparation that it takes to set goals and to get into your purpose, it's on the spectrum of getting into your passion, right? So a lot of people think that passion is this thing that just makes us warm and fuzzy, like, oh, I love kids. I love dogs. I love seniors, right? And that could very well be so. That could be where, you know, you just have this special place in your heart for a certain community, whether it's blended families, um, children of children who are homeless, um, countries who don't have clean water, that could very well be that that is something that you're passionate about. And it does give you that warm and fuzzy. But I also want you to think about the other side that's not so warm and fuzzy, but it's that thing that makes you upset. When you find out about a kid locked up in a cage, how does that make you feel? When you find out about a woman who is going through domestic abuse, how does that make you feel? So passion could be the thing that makes you extremely happy or the thing that makes you extremely upset. And that's what's going to move you into your power, operating into, you know, what you're supposed to do. So it's all on a spectrum. You know, when, when Jessica talked about let us pray for productivity, purpose, passion, power, it's all on a spectrum. So I really want you to hone in and think about, you know, God, maybe my life doesn't seem like this A to Z linear path. It doesn't seem like this well-orchestrated path, but how can I, like Lisa said, look back at my life and think about what is the purpose? What is my purpose here? Because it's not, purpose is not something you discover. It's something you uncover, right? So it was always there. All these stories were always there, but as you start to think about it, go through those questions that Lisa asked you. As you start to think about your purpose, then it will help you to ignite your passion. So get your journal out tonight, sit with God and say, hey God, what is it that you want me to, to do? What, what are you prompting me to do? What am I supposed to do with my life? Think about what you know has happened so far and how you can use your passion and that how you can use your purpose to just ignite your passion. So again, remember, it doesn't have to be that warm and fuzzy where you feel, oh, I just love this. I just love that. It can also be that thing that makes you upset, that thing that ignites you. Like you're talking to your friend and you heard something on the news and that thing just creates such, it's such a, it just boils up on the inside of you. It's not a nice warm and fuzzy feeling, but that thing can also be your passion. Mm -hmm.